Yo guys, what is up? And welcome back to another video. My name is George Edney. Today I have devised quite a special setup because I'm doing a video which I haven't done in a long time. This is what I took on my new skiing video which was uploaded, which you can find right there. GoPro Hero 7 Black. So guys, I do wish I could keep that lighting set up for the entire video, but um, sadly I can't because it would get a little bit darker at points. So uh, here is the GoPro in the flesh, lens, touch screen on the back, insane camera. Here's the case which it goes in, all it needs to do, fits into there nicely, put the back on, clip that down, same thing to open it back up again, and you just pop it out. This is currently the best. Uh, GoPro, which isn't 360 or Fusion, um, in my opinion, it has 4K 60 video, 12 megapixel photos with Super Photo, which adjusts all the settings for you afterwards, and as you take it to make everything look insane. Pro Tune is also another setting with photos, which allows you to manually adjust the exposure, aperture, white balance, whatever you need to. The GoPro Hero 7 Silver and the GoPro Hero 7 White. This is currently cost a quite high amount of £380 on Amazon. Uh, it does have a removable battery, which is very, very helpful, especially when you're skiing, because you can't charge it on the mountain. You need some high quality, uh, cold proof, wind proof batteries. I have four batteries currently. I only roughly need two a day. Didn't need much, but it's always good to have them. And so each of them has a two inch touch screen. It is waterproof without a housing. And this is something which I love. It also has hyper smooth stabilization, which is that kind of next level. Like it's not Osmo, but it's definitely gimbal like. I would compare it to the Karma. Slow mo times eight. It shoots at 1080, 240. 240 FPS, 240 frames a second, 14,400 frames a minute. That is insane. It has live streaming, super photo. Time Warp, which is really, really stabilised, hyperlapse type footage. GP1 chip, I think it's to do with an accelerometer. This is the definition of an accelerometer, either, hopefully, that side, because that has more space from what I can see. And it does have GPS, which basically means afterwards in the GoPro app, I can add in um, geometric stats, such as the speed I was travelling, the g-force I was enduring, the height and the altitude which I was at, stuff like that, the acceleration, everything I can put on the screen with live stats. It does have a super suit which allows it to go down a lot more than it already does underwater. This camera actually has three mics and stereo audio. Um, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a HDMI video app with a micro HDMI. Uh, photos are 12 megapixels. It has time-lapse interval photos which can be quite good but I don't really like cutting those together. It takes forever. Mode as photo mode. Burst mode, port USB-C is what it uses. The memory card, you need to have micro SD. I have on me right now, but I have one somewhere. With at least class 10 or UHS-1 rating. 12, 20 milliamps, lithium ion, rechargeable. So carry it in your hand luggage on planes, guys. Any lithium ion batteries need to be carried in hand luggage on planes. Uh, if you want me to do more stuff with the GoPro, please suggest some stuff that you'd like me to do. Even if it's just testing it out. Um, but thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. And uh, I'll leave a link to this website. Subscribe to my new channel, The Talkers. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye from me.